So, hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you another one of these FIFA 20 career mode experiments. You guys are actually loving these, so massive thank you for the support on these videos where we basically just test stupid things that you just didn't really think about, but weirdly you're actually interested in. Now, recently I did a video about the best possible team in career mode, getting a ton of players together who have the best potential in the game mode, putting them into the same team and seeing how they would do. Now down in the comments section, it was suggested that I do the complete opposite and get a collection of players together that are so clapped. They're pretty much a live audience. I mean, there's a lot of clapping going on. That was a terrible pun. I need to get a grip of myself. Basically, this is the worst team in career mode. They have like the worst overalls of anyone in the game. Most people with one leg are more capable at playing football than these players are. I'm sorry if any of you are watching, if Huang Zhao happens to, uh, that's definitely not how you pronounce it. If he is watching, I'm really sorry, man. You're probably a nice guy, but try a different sport like netball or water polo or something, because it's not football. It's not for you. Anyway, if you're going to enjoy this video, slap a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. We're using Watford for this experiment because they're bottom of the Premier League table, so it, it makes sense. They brought this up on themselves. To be fair, with how they're playing in real life, this may be some kind of improvement. Anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at the team because it really is quite something. In goal, we have Simon Royce. And you are actually seeing that age correctly. This this man is 47 years old. He's closer to a free bus pass than a footballing career. What is going on here? I can't remember who he plays for, but the story is he's the goalkeeping coach of the team that he plays for or the team that he's at and they ran out of goalkeeper so they had to list him as a substitute and in doing that EA had to put him in FIFA. Now we're rocking a five at the back. Uh, these, you're terrible um, all of you so it's not gonna make a difference. We could have 26 at the back and we would still concede at least seven a game. At right back we've got a guy called Woodcock and I mean do you know I'm gonna crack a joke about it? He's 47 overall but he's got a meaty potential of Actually, I can't say meaty because of his name, in it. The first of the centre-backs is someone you may know from this channel's history. I did a video about being able to sign players for one pound in career mode, and Mr. Zhu Ting bah, 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 was in that video. Um, he's 49 overall. We've got Bucci at <laughs> centre-back as well. A cheap knockoff version of Gucci. He really isn't the same quality as that brand. Wang Zhao, Hu Hawaii, Huawei, yay. I swear that's a phone make, isn't it? In at left back, we've got the man, the myth, the legend of the Adriano channel. It's Jordan Norville Williams. 48 overall players across the board in central midfield. And then finally on to the strikers. Congolese striker Latefa is at 49 overall. And Bogdanov at 17 years of age is 48 overall alongside him. The bench isn't much better, I will be honest with you. Got a guy just called Hand that is at 48. You probably should have stuck to your surname and stayed as far away from sports that involve feet as possible. We are going to play the first Premier League game of the season and then we're going to sim a season with this absolutely diabolical, cataclysmic team and see how they do in the Premier League. This is actually the most clapped thing I've ever seen. Bogdanov is 49 overall now. I love that from you. It says it all when shooting isn't even on a shooting drill and he's on a passing drill instead. Right, Watford v Brighton, what have you got for me, lads. I am basically about to play a football match with part-time shop assistants. No, no, this is gonna be so bad. Right, we get the game underway. Let's go. Who's gonna put in a big performance for me? Woodcock here on the right-hand side. He's come up against stiff opposition here in Trozard. I can't say stiff, because hopefully he doesn't have a rush of blood to the head at some point. Again, probably not the best of phrases to use. Right, your hand bash. Go on, I need a good clearance. Shooting, that's not a good clearance. Bogdanov, the step over's kind of worked. We're coming forward, Doherty. Gucci with the defending. Mate, we could we could upgrade him in a minute. That was Gucci level defending. Wallingtonson bursting. No, there's no bursting anymore. To be honest, right, this team 
is really bad. I don't know what you were expecting me to say. Back to Lotefa again. Okay, he's lost the ball, but we were in the final third for a moment there. All down the line. Your hand bash has put that in. We're in issues. That's hit the post. It's shooting on the ball. Oh, he's whipped out a step over. Are you mental? Mate, the shooting Gucci partnership is unbelievable. Royce has caught the ball. That's the first time he's made a catch since probably 1987. The Watford fans are happy with what they've seen. This is probably the best performance they've put in all year. Can we actually keep a clean sheet in the Premier League with the worst team on the game? You know what? I, I genuinely have faith in these. Brighton have scored. Um, Oh, listen, I need composure from you, Perry. Listen, it's all about how we respond now. Gucci with the long shot. You know what? Well, I mean, it was bad, but it wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be. Oh, no. Ball in. Oh, keeper. How have you... How is the keeper not got to that? Just back out the Zimmer frame and you can get there. What are you doing, man? I think the dream might be over, lads. I'll be brutally honest with you. Right, Bogdanov, please do something. Oh my God, Bogdanov is in. Oh, how have you not finished it off? Matty Ryan makes the save. Bogdanov. As soon as you go past your man, you've got to finish that. I'm sorry. Harry, that is a shocking first touch and an awful finish as well. Valentinson. Oh, yes, mate. Oh, he's put it wide. You beat the defender and you've missed from there. We, we could have scored. We could have been the hero. Oh, I give up. We've got a 47-year-old in goal. He can't even jump higher than 12 centimetres. How are you going to do that to him? Oh, no. Wallingtonson's in issues. It's a red card for the Swede. It's unfortunate, actually, because, I mean, it is a shocking... It's awful. It's a cataclysmic change. Challenge. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. It's assault at the end of the day. But he's actually not been that bad. He's been one of the players that at least looks like he's played football in his life before. Zhu Ting, get it away. Yes, mate. No, I actually maintain Zhu Ting and Gucci Boy are genuinely Premier League quality. We're into additional time. I think we might be struggling to get ourselves back in this game at this point. I think it's definitely going to be a struggle now. That is the end end of the game. It is a 4-0 defeat at the hands of Brighton. But the worst team in FIFA 20 career mode in the end couldn't hold out for the full 90 minutes. They may have been absolutely slapped up by Brighton, but at least all the players are happy somehow. Right, we're going to go to the end of the season. I'll check at like intervals or whatever, but we're going to see how the worst team in career mode does. Can they get a goal? Can they get a point? Can they even get a win? Seven games into the season and Oh my god. Oh! Lads, we've scored a goal. I, I can't even begin to fathom what I am seeing here today. We have scored in the Premier League. Can you even believe it? We've conceded 29 in seven games, but we don't need to talk about that information. It was West Ham United. We lost 4-1, admittedly, but we actually scored a goal. <laughs> Oh my! The goal was scored by Dean Walsh, who didn't even appear in the game that we played. But he's gone up for overall. He is a spine-tingling 51 now. Oh my god! This team is heroic! We've got a draw! Can you actually- we've actually scored a point in this experiment. We drew against Norwich City. We've now scored three goals. We are prolific scorers in this league. What is it now? We've got to try and get a win, I guess? We'll seem like a couple of months further and see whether we can actually do that. Ah, I see. Right. Okay. Well, it just wouldn't be one of these experiments, would it, if we didn't get sacked along the way. The end of the season has arrived. We're not even in charge of the beautiful Watford side. Unfortunately, they were not able to pick up that fabled win. They remain on one point by the end of the campaign. A total of seven stuck away by the worst team in FIFA 20 career mode in comparison to to 148 conceded. If we take a look at the stats, you'll see the most amount of goals with 
with a incredible total of two was scored by Haruto Shirai of Japan. I wasn't necessarily expecting anyone to get a goal, let alone two. The best average rating was Shirai and Bogdanov with six, which is bad, really, because if you came off the bench with a minute to go, did nothing, and ended the game there, you would get a six. So, so there you have it. The worst team in FIFA 20 career mode would undoubtedly finish bottom of any table, but they don't disgrace themselves totally. They not only managed to get goals in the Premier League, they managed to scrape themselves a point with a draw against Norwich. If you've enjoyed this and you've enjoyed the cult heroes as well, then slap a like on this video and subscribe if you are new to the channel. You can also follow me on social media. It is at the official FNG on Twitter and on Insta, but it has been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye. <laughs>